whether it's autonomous vehicles, whether it's industrial automation, whether it's machine learning or artificial intelligence, we appear to be facing a future of A, fewer jobs, and B, jobs that require more training, perhaps part of the reason you're in the education business now, or at least a different set of skills, right, than the education system we currently have is built to provide. Do you agree with that? I completely agree. The skill set in the future has to be different from the past. And more importantly, we can't afford having a single education anymore. We have to have education throughout our lifetime. And that's where companies like Udacity come in. We partner with individuals who look for better jobs. We even give a money-back guarantee if our students can't find a great job. And we help people stay upskilled in all their entire career. What about the quantity of jobs, though? What kind of an unemployment rate? So if these predictions pan out, for good or for bad, what kind of an unemployment rate are we going to be looking at 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now? I think the unemployment rate depends a lot on our policies that we do as a nation. If you are stagnant and we invest in our laurels, we're going to go into mass unemployment and very low labor participation rates. But if we move the education scheme from quantum education to lifelong education, I think we can harvest even more of creative energy of the human mind. But what, it, about, what about people, for example, the kinds of people who may have voted for Donald Trump, who are not just concerned about the lives and the standards of living that they have or don't have today, but the lives and the standards of living that they see their children having. I think there's a great opportunity for us as a nation, and we have to really radicalize ourselves behind this opportunity, which is over the centuries, people have moved from field work to intellectual work, and as a result, we've become more and more creative as a society. Humans have not even harnessed what we are capable of doing in terms of creativity. If we upskill ourselves, if we stay skilled, if we keep learning and we keep going with technology, we can move the world. But not everybody can upscale. It's always been true that not everybody can upscale, but we can never direct our society according to the slowest elements of society. We have to move fast, we have to move technology, we have to move forward. Now, the United States has long been, uh, well, I say long, perhaps not over the course of human history, but for the past half century, has been the heartbeat of innovation. Where's that going to be 50 years from now? I believe the United States has a good chance of staying at the center of innovation. And the reason is we attract some of the most interesting people from all around the world. I'm a big immigration fan. I'm an immigrant myself. And I've given more than 1,000 people a job in my little career. But I think it's important for us to, be, to, to keep smart people immigrating to Silicon Valley and other states in the United States. Um, if we don't do this, and if we stop uh, focusing on things like top-notch education, then others will take over, like China. So we've come full circle. What if a new government shuts the door to immigration? I just so hope that the new government will not shut the door to immigration. Immigration has been the United States' strongest element. And while there are certainly questions about illegal immigrants and so on, I think we really are a nation of immigrants, myself included. And if it were to happen, what would the implications be? What happens to Silicon Valley? What happens to American competitiveness? Well, if the United States shuts the door entirely to immigration, which I don't believe, Entirely then I bet, no. <laughs> I bet other places will pick up and take over uh, from us as the most creative nation on the planet. We need to be open towards smart people, educated people from all around the world, and let them immigrate and let them build businesses and create work for Americans.